Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. This should be a fun one. Today we're going to be talking about all except without calculate. So now when I start talking about not using calculate, yeah, you know, well, this is one of the like one of the first things that tends to come up um, is like, well, how do you how do you do an all except with if you're not using calculate? And apparently if you suffer from like calculate brain disease where you're incapable of thinking and writing DAX without using calculate, this is a hard problem to solve. <clears throat> if you don't suffer from that affliction, it's actually pretty easy um, and very straightforward. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do an all except without calculate, and I'll do you one better. I'm going to write an all except without an all except. How about that? All right, let's get into it. So as you can see, before we get into the data model and that stuff, let's just, just quickly review uh, all except the documentation, right? So, you know, the important part here is, you know, all except removes all context filters in the table except filters that are applied to the specific columns. Convenient shortcut for a situation where you want to remove filters on many, but not all columns. So essentially what you're doing is you're going to say, hey, I want all, I want to see everything in this table except for if there's any filters applied to a specific column that I want to keep those essentially is what it's in a nutshell saying. All right, so let's get back in here. Let's take a quick tour through the data model, which you can see over here, but I have a dates, I have my, uh, I have my, I have a month column, which just has months, it's a separate table. I have my dates, it has, uh, it's a simple date table, right? And I got my fact table here where I'm just randomly generating uh, two values for each day of the month, of the year, the entire year. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, if we go over here, you can see my dates table is related to my table on the date column and you can see that my month is related to my month column uh, months month is related to table month well, all right okay so I, I i was gonna keep this a little simpler but every time i kept on trying to drop out uh different values and then put them back in and of course you know auto expands the stuff and all that fun fun jazz all right so what i have here is i have a table visual and you can see I just have my value that, that I've randomly generated, right? And I just have a simple sum on that, right? So I've got my value coming in there, and it's just the sum of the sum of the value, right? And then I've got my all except with calculate. So let's take a look at how how that's constructed, right? Very simple, right? Calculate, do a sum across the table, the value column, all except month. So we want to keep the filters for month, but everything else we want to ignore, right? Okay, so when we do this, so if I choose quarter, see my value changes, but my all except with calculate didn't change, right? Stayed the same, right? Because I'm filtering on quarter, but I'm ignoring that filter. But if I click on February or something, you can see this value and this value are the same. If I click on January and February, you see this value and this value are the same. You know, now I want to diverge a little bit into a different subject matter. Um, which has nothing to do with context, I guess you could say, to a certain degree. Um, but let's say that I select quarter, right? My value doesn't change. And now I select a month that's not in that quarter, like May. And you can see blanks, right? Both values are blank, all right? And you, be, you might be thinking to yourself, hey, why is that? I mean, I told it to, you know, ignore all filters other than the month filter. So why is that returning blank when I use all except? I think this is something that trips people up quite a bit um, when they're using this stuff. And the problem is, is that, you know, it, it delves into a subject matter that is not very well covered because it doesn't come up a lot. Um, and people are thinking filter context and row context and query context and all, all this other stuff. And it really has nothing to do with any of that. The reason this happens is because of a, of a technology called auto exist. Um, and you can even think of it as a as a context for your data that exists before any of those other contexts come into play. So specifically, when auto exist comes into play is when I select two or more columns from the same table, right? The minute I do this, auto exist kicks in and says, and tries to basically prevent you from doing calculations on meaningless stuff, all right? It tries to knock down the number of calculations. So because of auto exist in the auto exist context, if you will, um, it's looking at quarter one in May and says none of those rows intersect with one another. And so therefore, no rows are going to be available to this, this particular table visual, okay, just out of the gate. And there's no amount, there's no amount of using all 
or all accept or remove filters or whatever you want to try the minute auto exists kicks in you know they that row set that con the context for the data is immediately limited by auto exist and whatever it determines you know intersects with one another and what doesn't so once things are removed with auto exist there's no getting them back okay and i think people run into that problem all the time um so anyway and they get frustrated by it so but if i click you know quarter one and january one okay i got my january okay so let's also explore how this interacts how we're just focusing on all except right now let's explore how this works if i choose quarter from my date column you can see my value changes but my all except doesn't right okay but what if i select a month from my date column my date table okay all except doesn't change value doesn't change so why is that? I mean, it's being filtered, right? Sure, it's being filtered, but it's being cross-filtered, okay? It's not directly being filtered. And so all except, all it cares about is that specific column in that specific table if it's being directly filtered, okay? So that's how it works. And you might say, well, you know, surely, you know, this is, you know, related on date to your table, but surely if I have months, a month's table and it's directly relating month into the month in the table, surely this would have impact. Nope. You're wrong. It doesn't. <laughs> so anyway, so that is how auto ex auto or sorry, auto exist. <laughs> that is how all except works. OK, so now how do you achieve that same result? And if you've been noticing like we've been going along here, all these numbers have been being the same. Calculate to agrees with without calculate to and these all agree with one another uh, as I've been clicking through here. So how do you accomplish that without using calculate? Well, it's actually pretty trivial, right? So I can come up here. That is calculate two. I'll, I'll accept without calculate. And let's go in here. And so, you know, it's very simple to do it. You just use a calculate table and use an all accept and get back the same result, right? So now, okay, fine. I know what you're saying. You're sitting there thinking, Greg, that's a really nice shirt that you have on, but I bet you're not wearing pants. Well, the joke's on you because I am in fact wearing pants, <clears throat> but I understand your point. Right, this is kind of a cheat, right? Because calculate table and calculate are basically the same function. One returns a table, one returns a scalar value. All right, so let's get into how to create an all except without using an all except. And that is all except without calculate. Now, this is actually really trivial DAX, right? So the first line months, my months bar, I can just grab my distinct values of my month. The next line I grab in my table bar, I grab all table. In the next one, table one, I filter that table for the months in my months bar, right? Because my months bar is a single table, is a single column table consisting of months, right? And so then all I have to do is say is a nice little if statement. If is filtered table month, then sum x table one. If it's not filtered, sum x table, the table, sum of all of it, right? And that is how you create an all except without using all except or calculate or calculate table. It's really that simple. Now, granted, it is more verbose than using all except, but it's not impossible to do it. It's very straight. And in fact, it's very straightforward. And I think, you know, you understand it at a deeper level if you write it out this way, because it's very it, it's very obvious what is going on. Versus with all accept and calculate, it's kind of if you rely on that to when you're learning DAX, then you know you really don't you don't really have the concept of what's going on or explicitly have a feel for what's going on. You're just kind of relying on this magical back black box of calculate to to do the magic for you, right? But in in this code, it's it's extremely it's, it's extremely obvious what is going on here, right? So, and as as I mentioned, right, it acts the same. So if I click on quarter, it doesn't, these three values agree with one another. If I click on February, they agree with one another. If I click additional months in here, they all agree with one another. If I am doing something over here, my dates table should not affect this at all in any way, shape or form, right? It all just works, it just works. It's an all, it's an all except without using calculate. So, now, these all accept with calculate two. What these are doing is uh, basically, OK, I'm not going to use my table. I'm going to use my dates in my calculation, my dates table. So if I take a look at this, 
So for example, right, I have my calculate sum table all except dates month, not instead of table month, right? And I can do the same thing, you know, with this code where I'm grabbing in my first line, all that really changes is I'm grabbing my distinct dates from my month and also my is filter clause changes from, you know, table month to dates month. And even if you notice they are, it still all works the same. So if I click on quarter, it doesn't do anything. If I click on February, it does, and all of that sort of stuff. So, so that in a nutshell is how you do an all accept without calculate, or an all accept without even an all accept for that matter. So that's all for today. I uh, hope you found this uh, informational or interesting, or if you didn't, you know, that's okay too. All right, see you.